Welcome to Before the Council, a reading of the Revere City Council agenda for the meeting of Monday, March 9th, 2015. There are 16 items on the agenda this week. Coverage begins at 545 with the appointment subcommittee meeting chaired by Councilor Arthur F. Guanasso. Also on the committee, Councilors Jessica A. Janino, Councilor Stephen Morabito, Councilor Charles J. Patch Sr., and Councilor Stephen Reardon. There are several items on their agenda. First, the reappointment of Mr. George Anzoni as the Revere Housing Authority Commissioner for a five-year term expiring on February 12, 2020. Second, the appointment of Mr. Lohan Morera of Revere, Massachusetts as a constable. Third, reappointment of Mr. Paul Minsky of Lynn, Massachusetts as a constable. Fourth, reappointments to the Council on Elder Affairs. Ms. Sylvia Corrin, Ms. Thelma Smith, Ms. Josephine Picardi, Mr. George Shaheen, Mr. Morris Morris, Ms. Agnes Ferrioli, Mr. Al Terminello, Ms. Irma Asatulo, Mr. Nicholas Giacobi, Mr. Vincent Camerata, and Mr. Amadeo Ayoko. And fifth, the appointment of Ms. Rose Colonino to the Council on Elder Affairs. Please note that in order for an appointment to be confirmed by the full City Council, the appointee must attend the Appointments Subcommittee. Then at 6 p.m. we move on to the Revere City Council meeting, which begins with a salute to the flag and the roll call of members and the approval of the journal of the meeting held on February 23, 2015. Then it's on to calendar item number one, which is a resolution of condolence for City Councilor Richard A. Penta, which will be presented by the City Council. Calendar item number two, under public hearings, a hearing called as ordered on an ordinance further amending Title I, Chapter 1.12 of the revised ordinances of the City of Revere and accepting the Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 40U. And this is in regard to code violations, an ordinance further amending Title I, Chapter 1.12 of the ordinances of the City of Revere. This is several pages and we will read the preamble. Whereas Title I, Chapter 1.12 of the Ordinances of the City of Revere presently controls the municipal code violation process for the city, whereas the city's municipal code violation process was created to comply with Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 40, Section 21D, whereas on May 11, 2010, the Governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts signed into law as part of the 2010 Massachusetts Relief Bill, the statute captioned Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 40U, whereas Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 40U, modernized the municipal code enforcement process, providing municipalities inter alia additional authority to combat ongoing code violations and the problem of blighted properties and neighborhoods, Whereas the City of Revere seeks to update its ordinances and its internal municipal code violation process to accept, comply, and fully implement the contemporary Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 40U process. Whereas the City of Revere seeks to amend Title I, Chapter 1.12 of the ordinances to adopt Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 40U and to identify the processes and procedures that the City and its citizenry must follow when issuing and responding to Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 40U code violations, whereas the City of Revere additionally seeks to maintain the Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 40, Section 21D process for certain code violations not covered by the new Massachusetts General Laws 40U system, whereas this amendment and ordinance is offered to support the City's modernization and improvement of its overall code enforcement process in support of the public interest, whereas an amendment to Title I, Chapter 1.12, Article 1 is offered to include Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 40U, within the definition of the violation notices that certain officers are authorized to issue violation notices in the City of Revere, and to include definitions of certain terms relevant to the Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 40U process. Whereas an amendment to the Title I, Chapter 1.12, Article 2 is offered to clearly isolate the Massachusetts General Laws. Chapter 40, Section 21D, process from the Massachusetts General Laws, 
Chapter 40U process within Article 3, whereas an amendment to Title 1, Chapter 1.12 is offered to add an addition to add an Article 3 to clearly isolate the Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 40U process from the Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 40, Section 21D process within Article 2, whereas Title 1, Chapter 1.12, Article 3 is offered to state the city's contemporary code violations process in accordance with Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 40U, and whereas the below amendments are in harmony with the general purposes and intent of the revised ordinances of the City of Revere, an ordinance amending Title I, Chapter 1.12 of the ordinances of the City of Revere, and accepting Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 40U in its entirety, be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Revere. Calendar item number three, there's a hearing called as ordered on a proposed loan order in the amount of $1,850,000 from the MWRA under the Local Water System Assistance Program. Calendar item number four, this is a report of the Appointments Subcommittee. And then in accordance with Rule 23 of the City Council Rules of Order, the following motions or communications are being reported out of various City Council committees with a recommendation to be placed on file. Calendar item number five, pursuant to Council Order 14-068, which was put into the City Council on March 24th, 2014 by Councilor Zambudo. This is a motion of his relative to a Human Resources Department. Calendar item number six, pursuant to Council Order 14-068A, in Council, March 24th, 2014, by Councillor Arrigo. This is his motion relative to an ordinance establishing a personnel department. Calendar item number seven, pursuant to Council Order 14-204, in the City Council on September 8th, 2014, by the late Councillor Penta, this motion is relative to hiring an architect for the renovations to City Hall. Calendar item number eight, pursuant to Council Order 14-227. This is regarding the motion of Councilor Arrigo relative to the FY 2015 budget and projections for FY 2016 and 2017 that was put before the Council on October 27th. 2014. Calendar item number nine, pursuant to Council Order 14-254. This is regarding a motion of Councilors Patch and the late Councilor Penta in the Council on December 8th, 2014, regarding their motion for the establishment of a police reserve list similar to that of the fire department. The preceding motions, in accordance with Rule 23 of the City Council Rules of Order, are being reported out of various City Council committees with a recommendation that they be placed on file. Calendar item number 10 is a communication from the Mayor relative to the appointment of Mr. Vincent Lauria of Revere, Massachusetts, to the Conservation Commission to fill the vacant position created by the resignation of Mr. Joseph James. Calendar item number 11. This is a communication from the mayor relative to the following reappointments of members to various boards, commissions, and positions. Dated March 3rd, 2015, dear city council members, I am writing to request that the city council consider the following reappointments to various boards, commissions, and positions. One, for reappointment to the position of building inspector for a new three-year term expiring in April of 2018, Mr. Benjamin D. Cristoforo of Winchester, Massachusetts, and two, for reappointment to the position of election commissioner for a new four-year term expiring in April of 2019, Ms. Diane Colella of Revere, Massachusetts, and it's signed very truly yours, Daniel Rizzo, Mayor. Calendar item number 12, this is a communication from the Mayor relative to the appointment of Caruso Corporation of Revere, Massachusetts 
as a licensed drain layer dated March 5, 2015. Dear Council Members, please be advised that in accordance with the provisions of Title 13, Chapter 13.08, Section 13.08.435 of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Revere as most recently amended, I hereby request that Caruso Corporation, Stephen Caruso, President of Revere, Massachusetts, be reappointed as a licensed drain layer. Please take careful notice that all drain layer licenses expire on April 1st annually, unless sooner revoked by the mayor and the council. Mr. Caruso has been advised that he will be contacted directly by the appointments subcommittee with a date and time to appear before them concerning this reappointment. Very truly yours, Daniel Rizzo, mayor of the city of Revere. Calendar item number 13. This is a communication from the mayor relative to the appointment of Sikiyadi Construction of Swampscott, Massachusetts as a licensed drain layer, dated March 5th, 2015. Dear council members, please be advised in accordance with the provisions of Title 13, Chapter 13.08, Section 13.08.435 of the revised ordinances of the City of Revere as most recently amended. I hereby request that Sikiati Construction LLC of Swampscott, Massachusetts, be reappointed as a licensed drain layer. Please take careful notice that all drain layer licenses expire on April 1st annually, unless sooner revoked by the mayor and the council. Mr. Marco Sikiati has been advised that he will be contacted directly by the appointment subcommittee with a date and time to appear before them concerning this appointment. Very truly yours, Daniel Rizzo, Mayor. Calendar item number 14. This is a communication from the mayor requesting a bond authorization in the amount of $2 million for Harry Della Russo Stadium, dated March 5, 2015. Dear City Councilors, the construction of new Harry Della Russo Stadium has progressed nicely. The stadium will definitely become a centerpiece in this community that we can look upon with pride. The cost of this project was underfunded by $2 million due to the financing of this project with a $2,700,000 grant from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The grant proceeds are deducted from the total amount of the original authorization of $5,500. The distribution of the grant monies during construction has lowered the bond authorization by the $2,720,000. The total amount required to complete this project is $7.5 million. Please find attached a letter from Mr. Frank Stringy, Director of Planning and Community Development, which requests the need for these additional funds. At this time, I respectfully request of your honorable body that approval of the additional $2 million as proposed in the attached proposal loan authorization, Mr. Tringy, the Director of Finance, Mr. George Anzoni, and I will be in attendance to address any inquiries that may arise from your honorable body, very truly yours, Daniel Rizzo, Mayor. And the request by Frank Stringy, the Department of Planning and Community Development Director, dated February 23rd, 2015, says, upon reviewing the language of the bond authorization in the amount of $5.5 million for the reconstruction of Harry Della Russo Stadium, it has been discovered that the language of the bond authorization reduces the amount of this bond by the amount of any grants or gifts provided to the City of Revere. Since the City received a grant in the amount of $2,720,000 from the Executive of Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs, the bond has been reduced to $2,780,000, giving us a total budget of $5,500,000, given the scope of the project and necessary upgrades to create a first-class multi-purpose stadium complex. The final construction cost for completion is $7.5 million. Therefore, an additional $2 million must be reauthorized for this project. Calendar item number 15. This is a communication from the mayor requesting a transfer from the Water and Sewer Enterprise Fund in the amount of $50,000 to repair the city's Vactor truck. Dated March 5, 2015, dear city councilors, the city has a piece of equipment that is in desperate need of repair. The age of this vehicle, a Vactor truck, is approximately 10 years old. 
This particular vehicle performs various services to the water and sewer enterprise infrastructure. The recommendation of Mr. Donald Goodwin, Superintendent of Public Works, is attached for your review. At this time, I respectfully request that your honorable body approve a transfer of $50,000 from the Water Sewer Enterprise Fund free cash to the sewer maintenance of equipment account. Very truly yours, Daniel Rizzo, Mayor. And the letter from Mr. Donald Goodwin regarding the free cash water sewer enterprise fund dated March 2, 2015. The Department of Public Works is requesting the transfer of $50,000 from the water sewer enterprise cash fund account to the sewer maintenance of equipment account. The reason is the repair of our Vectra truck that is used for sewer blocks and other functions within the water sewer division. There was a malfunction of the circulator pump that circulates water during cold weather in order to prevent water in the truck system from freezing. Unfortunately, this happened on the coldest night of the year, causing water to freeze, causing extensive damage to pumps, manifolds, tanks, hoses, etc. The replacement valve of the truck would be $250,000 with the repair of this vehicle, we would get another 10 years of service. I respectfully request that you present this to the Revere City Council for their approval. At this time, we do not have a backup for this truck and are forced to use subcontractors at rates of between $500 and $1,500 per event, which is quite costly and response time to our residents is longer in duration. I would like to thank you and the Revere City Council for your prompt attention to this matter Sincerely, Donald Goodwin, the Superintendent of Public Works. We also have an unmentioned communication from the mayor regarding a proclamation dated March 3, 2015. Dear council members, I have attached a proclamation declaring Saturday, May 16, 2015, National Kids to Parks Day. Sincerely yours, Daniel Rizzo, Mayor. National Kids to Parks Day. Saturday, May 16th, 2015, a proclamation. Whereas May 16th, 2015 is the fifth National Kids to Parks Day organized and launched by the National Park Trust. And whereas National Kids to Parks Day empowers kids and encourages families to get outdoors and visit America's parks. And whereas it is important to introduce a new generation to our nation's parks, because of the decline in park attendance over the last decades, and whereas we should encourage children to lead a more active lifestyle to combat the issues of childhood obesity, diabetes mellitus, hypertension and hypercholesterolemia, and whereas National Kids to Parks Day is open to all children and adults across the country to encourage a large and diverse group of participants and whereas National Kids to Parks Day will broaden children's appreciation of nature and the outdoors. Now, therefore, I, Mayor Daniel Rizzo, Mayor of the City of Revere, do hereby proclaim it to participate in National Kids to Parks Day. I urge residents of Revere to make time on March 16, 2015, to take the children in their lives to a neighborhood, state, or national park dated this third day of March 2015, it's signed by City Clerk Ashley E. Melnick and Mayor Daniel Rizzo. Calendar item number 16. Pursuant to Council Order 15-043, this is a motion presented by Council of Powers that the following special legislation be immediately forwarded to the state delegation for approval. An act authorizing the City of Revere to pay a certain sum of money to Ms. Cynthia A. Penta Andriani. The City of Revere may pay an amount not to exceed $15,054 to Ms. Cynthia A. Penta Andriani, wife of former City Councilor Richard A. Penta, who died while serving as a member of the City Council. This amount represents the salary to which he would have been entitled if he had lived and served until the end of his term in office. And this has been before the Council. A reading of the Revere City Council agenda for the meeting of Monday, March 9th, 2015. I'm Rick Promise. 
and I'll see you at the council.